industrial designers to extend their industrial design artistry into the digital dashboard. Okay, computer graphics is going to be like you've never seen before. And so over here, let's come over here and Justin, why don't you tell us what you got? Hey Jensen, I'm thrilled to help uh, present Project Mercury because this is a year long labor of love by our team. And it really represents the first time we're bringing physically accurate gauges, automotive gauges, um, into the car. So the reason we're showing all these parts here instead of presenting it all neat and tidy up on the screen is because we want you to understand that this is, this is very real and there's different physical pieces here. So if you look at this, this piece right here, this is our um, K1 automotive development environment. And this up here is an automotive grade, uh, high definition display that would go behind the steering wheel for the instrument clusters themselves. And so these two parts would actually go into a car. This represents a K1 tablet that you might have at home or at a showroom that would let you configure. So you can see it's actually running Android, which is totally different than something that would be behind the steering wheel for, for gauges themselves. So let's start by looking at, at this part that would be in the car, because this is ultimately what's the most thrilling part of this. So as we zoom in on it, you can start to see the detail of the materials. And as you were talking about Jensen, we've been using you know, physically accurate materials to uh, render designs for the exterior of vehicles for a long time. So what we're doing here is we're taking those exact same materials called MDL and we're putting them inside the car. So you can see up here brushed nickel. Uh, this is like a powder coat here, uh, shiny titanium. It's, uh, it's very highly detailed, and I, I welcome you to come to the demo room and get a very much closer look. Well, let's, let's, config, let's configure something. Okay. Let's make something for ourselves. Okay, so right before I, I'm gonna drop down and configure it, I just wanna point out that we've got um, film quality details to this. We realize that something to look realistic has to be uh, nearly perfect. So we can see this is all 3D, depth of field, refraction on the glass, illumination from the environment. We can change the environment and create warm glowing lights that you might see inside of the car. So dropping down to this configuration that you might have inside of your room, um, living room or maybe at a showroom as you purchase a car, you can see we have the gauge right here in this location here. And there's different parts to it. You can see power code is selected and the outer ring is selected right here. So if I wanted to change that a little bit, for, uh, perhaps I could change that outer ring to like a shiny titanium. You can look at the uh, sample material here and we can change it. Maybe we want a highly brushed and soft effect or maybe we want it highly reflective. Going back over here, we can check out other types of materials. This is a smooth rubber. Maybe we'd like it to be highly bumpy. I can zoom in on this a little bit tighter and get a good look at this bumpy white rubber that we're using. Another part of the gauge here is this accent color. And so I can click on that and see that it's brushed nickel. I could, for example, change the color of it to red or blue, or maybe just pick something else entirely. Moving past titanium, powder coat, maybe red. And powder coat's very diffuse, it's not reflective at all. So it's, it's very pretty right there. So the last thing I'll change. Justin, this is just our design. And this is a, a, a platform called UI Composer for, for designing this digital dash system. And um, a car company can import their own, own design of, uh, of a digital dash and whatever uh, wild and crazy and really, really uh, beautiful designs that they, they can import. Uh, that uh, comes into the UI Composer and then we can help them as a result, turn it into a running digital dashboard. Yeah, and so these materials are our materials, but let's say a, an automotive company had their car paint, their uh, fabrics, their leather, things like that. They could uh, scan and import those directly into here and use those uh, as they are. So if we wanna just finish things up, we can go back up here and see what we've created in the environment. Um, and maybe I'll turn off the background so that it looks like it would actually be inside of their vehicle and switch through a few different sets. We can see that we've got a wide variety of different capabilities here. And maybe we finish on this and you can sort of compare what's interesting is we've got kind of a scratched up metal here, scuffs on here, and we can compare the real physical metal we have here with what's being presented inside of these gauges. You can see the reflections are similar and 
we really believe that this is something physically accurate. And, and this is a glimpse of the future. Um, we uh, uh, aim for perfection. We see areas we can continue to improve always because that's what we do. But um, that's really cool. I think this is going to be exciting. That's terrific. I think I just lost my voice. Do you want me to wrap up? All right. No, no, no. Good job. Good job, Justin. <laughs> wow. <clears throat>